Well, hey crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming, and in this video tutorial we're going to do two things. We're going to, one, finish my Magnolia Craft Club project for March. So we're going to do this, and I'm going to show you a tip if you're a craft member for how to get the yarn through this hole. And then we're going to use some of this canvas duck and we're going to make a set of three stuffies using these as our pattern. Um, and we're going to decorate them. So we'll be using this for our, our canvas duck stuffies. We may use some buttons. We might use some orange ribbon uh, and it should be fun. Okay, so what am I even talking about? Well, right here, let me scoot just back just a little bit, um, is, this is the Ma March Magnolia Design Company um, Craft Club Project. And um, it has three of these wood hearts that are painted white and ready to go. It comes with this awesome stencil, which is two pieces of an all over pattern. I love them. Um, and then it comes with chalk paste in orange, a new squeegee, let me grab that, uh, instructions, and a video. And um, so, last time I was live, we did this, and this one, and this time we're going to do this one, we're going to finish it off. And then I'm going to show you the trick, uh, once this is sort of dry, to get the yarn, which this is the leftover yarn that came with the kit. Uh, how to get that through the hole. And I personally, I like this one the best. So I'm just going to show you, this is going to take two seconds. I'm basically just going to... Lay my stencil on here however I want. I'm going to grab some chalk paste. And I'm just going to push it through the holes in my stencil. Whoops. Oops. And then we'll move on to the stuffies. So if you have not joined Craft Club yet, my question is, why? Every month you get a new project that's a surprise. They're always different. Um, it's $22.95 plus whatever your local sales tax is and $5 shipping. Um, it comes, this craft club comes with a surface, or in this case, three. It comes with a reusable stencil, and it comes, oh, I did something. I kind of like it. <laughs> Looks different than the other two. I think because I put a little water in my chalk paste because it's from my pouch that was already open. Uh, but I can fix that later. So, uh, so Craft Club comes once a month. It is uh, a subscription. It's $22.95 plus tax and shipping. And like I said, every month it's a surprise. And the stencils are reusable many, many, many times. And I actually love these. I know I'll use them a ton. So let me show you my little tip for getting the yarn through. Okay, how hard do you think it would be to poke this through this hole? I think it would probably be pretty hard. <laughs> so have you guys ever seen these? I have a funny story. Uh, one of my followers, if it was you, tell me who it was because it's been so long, um, sent me a couple of these because I was having a hard time getting stuff through the little wood beads. And um, I thought all along that this was a craft supply and actually it's a little thing to use to flush your teeth if you have braces or bridges or something. So I went to Walmart, to the craft section, looking for these and not able to find it. And then somebody, one of my followers, told me, that's not a craft supply, it is a dentist thing. 
So I'm just going to scooch this down here a little bit. And I'm just going to thread this that has my strip, my uh, yarn in it through my, oh, whoops, through my little hole. Pull it up, and take it out, and then I'm going to tie these all together. So that makes it a lot easier to do. And then on this one, I trimmed them. See? So I haven't trimmed this one so I could show you. I just used my scissors to cut off the top. And I kind of wanted some different lengths. So I'm cutting the loops where I have them. And it's as easy as that. And I got it on my shirt. <laughs> and I think I'm going to have to do this over again, which is, this is chalk paste, so it's easy. Okay, so let's start um, the other project. All right, before I came live, you know how I always prepare? Um, I went ahead and I stenciled these two pieces of canvas stack. What is canvas stack? If you're new here, you might not know. If you have been watching for a while, I use canvas stack several times a week. So it is a real thick canvas fabric. I like this color the best. It's kind of an oatmeal. You can get it at pretty much any fabric store. It's like a thick, thick canvas and it comes in different weights. You want to purchase the heaviest weight that you can. Um, I think it's uh, 6, 8, and 10 are the different weights. I like the 10 the best, but I don't have any more of that. I think this is the 6. Um, and it's great for making stuffies, which is what we're going to do. So, I stenciled with some of this orange chalk paste on this fabric, and I have let it dry. Okay, let's talk about orange chalk paste on fabric. Uh, you can use any color chalk paste on fabric like a canvas stack if it's never going to be washed and it's going to hardly ever be handled. Uh, otherwise, you would want ink, all right, because ink is what is meant for fabric and you can heat set it with a hot iron and it makes it super permanent. But I just used what I had, some of this chalk paste, and I stenciled these two pieces. Then, here's the great part, I um, created some patterns just by laying my little carrots on the top of a piece of computer paper. Um, so here is the large, um, here is the medium, and here is the small. Okay, and then I cut them out. So let me show you what I've got here. This is the small, and this is the large, and the middle one I decided to do in plain um, canvas duck and to use some orange buttons, and it's going to be adorable, this set of three. Okay, so I haven't stuffed it yet. We'll do that in just a minute, but this is what I was, what my idea was. I like to have them all be kind of different. Okay, so then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to glue around the edges and leave one area open, but you need to figure out what you want as your carrot tops. And I just have these little sprigs hanging out. Um, this part is plastic, otherwise I'd be using my, uh, you know, good clippers. So since this one's little, I'm going to do some littler carrot tops. So I'm just making this a little bit shorter. See what I've done here? There, there's two right there, and here's 
original size. On the first, on the one with the buttons, I was just going along and I forgot to do this step first. So then I had to really work to pull it apart at the top to get my little sprigs in for the carrot top. Okay, I've got three here. And I'm gonna glue these shorter ones to the back of my canvas. And you could do both sides, the front and the back if you want, but you really don't, you don't need to. So I just cut a piece of canvas. Okay, they are glued to the back. And now I'm going to start gluing the front on and I'm going to leave one of the sides open. And because these are so small, I'm going to concentrate to make my um, glue be as close out to the edge as I can. So that I have more room inside to stuff. And where I have like a spot where the back is larger than the front, I can fix that easy before I stuff it. So I'm going to leave one of these sides open. And let's trim this. I could add buttons to this one. Um, I could put some ribbon on it. There's a ton of different things you can really do to doll these up, but they're pretty darn cute just like this. And I have an idea, another idea that I want to show you that we're not going to do today, but did you know that if you turn carrot, uh, hearts this way and you do four, that you can create a four-leaf clover? Well, you can. And I used some green ink this time, magnolia green ink, to stencil. And I have four of these little hearts. And we are going to make um, a shamrock. All right. Do I have this mostly trimmed up? Okay, let me grab some stuff and fluff. Where is it? It's in here. This is one of the least expensive ways to get stuffing. This is a pillow from Walmart. I chose the extra firm because I like my polyfill to be kind of firm. And um, you could take apart a pillow that you have. If you have polyfill on hand, of course you can use that. But if you don't, you can always improvise with the pillow. I think I need to glue up a little bit higher here. What do you guys think about this idea? Of course, you could make your carrots any size you want. You don't have to use these as your patterns. I just wanted to show you that you could if you wanted. And you can use these pattern, these uh, stencils to, uh, to decorate whatever you're going to make a uh, carrot out of. Okay, I'm just going to poke that all inside. Best I can. Get in there. And we're going to put some glue on here and seal it up. So, one of the things I love doing with um, Craft Club is making additional projects other than just the one that uh, 
came with the kit that comes on here. Need some glue. I need to make it big enough that I can get some glue in here, or I can just fix it later. That's what I think I'll do. All right, and let's finish this one off again with another set of these. So the, these have flowers on them, which I didn't use the stems, but I didn't throw them away. So hang on to that kind of stuff um, because you just never know when you can use it, when you're going to need to make some carrot tops or something. This is the bigger one, so I'm going to make the um, carrot tops longer. And I'm also going to add some extra on here. So this one will have five. If you're wondering what we're doing, we are doing the second project with the March Magnolia Craft Club stencils. And we used the, these little pieces to make patterns to cut out and stencil um, There's no such thing as too much, right? I'm sorry about that. I was getting a phone call. Okay, so I have this glued to the back. And now we're going to put it together like a little sandwich. comments if you have made any of my stuffy ideas oh my goodness we've done so many here I see Patty and Linda and Karen and Julie two Julies and Michelle lots of people are on you can do the same idea with pretty much any magnolia craft, uh, any magnolia stencil that is like an all over pattern. Um, okay, somebody's asking me, can you get this stuff separately? No, you have to be a member of Craft Club and how that works basically is it's a three month commitment and then after that, if you hate it, you can cancel, but I mean, you're not gonna hate it, you're gonna love it. If you are in Craft Club, tell our friends here in the comments uh, what you think about it. Did I glue this shut? No, I did not. If you've been happy. Okay, so I left the side open. Marcia says she's made bunny stuffies. Um, Annette said she made the mason jar stuffies. Do I have one here? Yes, I do. This was last month's stencil. For a different project and I used the shape which was a mason jar to create these stuffies that I painted and then I used the stencil that came in last month's kit to create this so there's always all kinds of things that you can do with um, with both the uh, stencil um, the shape sometimes you can use as a pattern Nancy said she made three of the mason jar stuffies. You know what? After I did that um, video, I started to see a lot of people doing the same thing. And a lot of people who were part of the Dreamy DIY, that's that free Facebook group that I have set up for all of us to share our craft projects, 
a lot of people shared their mason jar stuffies there and it was really fun to see you know how you guys put your own little touch on the idea so and usually there's a little bit leftover medium after you finish your project that you can use so that you can make you know another project or two okay this is stuffed and I'm just going to make sure everything is poked in and we'll glue it shut and trim it up and then we will do this one that just has the buttons And this one and then this one this is just canvas duck cut in the size of the medium uh, heart and I glued the front and the back together and I put the little carrot top in it and I left the side open so let's get some fluff these would look adorable in a double, which every time I talk about doubles here on DIY Dreaming, I have a few people who say, what is a double? So let me tell you what a double is. And if you already know, you know, I don't know. Uh, just listen. Okay, so a double is what families, people used in the olden days when they made their own bread. And, um, the dough bowl is where you would put the dough to let it rise. They're usually kind of oblong, and um, usually they're wood, and um, so they're kind of a rectangle shape. And now, um, people love old dough bowls for decorating. I do too, I have several. Not all of mine are old, but um, they love to put, uh, pine cones and rattan balls and a Christmas ornaments in the fall pumpkins in the spring you know eggs or birds and at Easter time it's fun to add a couple of carrots to the mix so what do you guys think is this adorable or what and so super easy and I bet you I seriously bet you I don't even have 50 cents worth of ingredients here in making these. So just to review, this is canvas duck from a fabric store, which is just a really thick canvas. This is, I used chalk paste. I used the chalk paste that came in the pouch. Um, you Generally, you want to use ink for fabric, but for a project like this, if you don't have orange ink, I think you can get away with using chalk paste for this because you're not going to handle it and you're never going to wash it. How much are the kits? I'll tell you in just a second. Um, so we did a front and a back and the fronts I just stenciled using the same stencil that came in the kit and let it dry. Traced my little shapes on them. Cut them out glued them together. Uh, I used some little bits of floral stuff that I had hanging out. And that was pretty much it. Um, I'm also going to do a, a shamrock project. So I used some magnolia green ink. And the, I think this was the larger one, which I made a little bit wider at the top. And I'm going to do a shamrock using that. There's so many things that you can do with the stencils that come in Craft Club. Uh, okay, Craft Club is $22.95 a month, but unlike other Craft Clubs that just give you two stencils or a stencil and a, two mediums, with this you get a stencil, you get a squeegee. Um, you get the stencil 
And these two together are a regular size stencil. They're, I think, nine by, nine by 11. You get your medium, whether it's chalk paste or ink, and you get all of the doodads. Um, so for this project, it was this adorable yarn. Um, you get a video and you get an instruction sheet. My voice is cracking up. I don't know. It's been a, a kind of a long day for me. Wednesdays are my Bible study day, so I've been out of the house. I'm back home now. Uh, I wanted to come live to you guys with this cute project. What's the difference between craft club member and a designer? Okay, that's a great question, Wanda. I am a creator with Magnolia Design Company. That means I'm sort of like an affiliate. Uh, I make a small commission on the sales that come through my website. So thank you so much. Um, so that is what a creator is, but I am also a member of Craft Club. And guess who I buy that from? I buy it from me. Because as a creator, that's what we call them, we don't say designer. Um, as a creator with Magnolia Design Company, uh, the stuff that we buy for ourselves, we get 35% off. So, you can be just a craft club member. I would love to welcome you to my craft club. Or you could be a creator like me. Let me know if you want some info. Um, Magnolia is a great company and they don't have any of those silly rules that some of the other companies do. They're super flexible, no quotas, a great discount. So let me know if you'd like that info. Um, or you can be both. Uh, Vicki says Magnolia is a better deal. I think so too because the competition um, does not include a surface. Yeah. Can you back order kits? No. You can only get the one that you have on your subscription. But say, for example, you, you have this idea to do Craft Club every month with your mom and your sister or your two BFFs or five people, whatever. You could order um, three Craft Club subscriptions to be sent to your house and um, they could pay for theirs or you could pay for theirs and collect from them. Um, so that's how, if you wanted more than one, you would do it. But once this month is over, uh, this project is over as well. And I think it's absolutely adorable. And this stencil set is over too. You can't buy any of that separately. Excuse me, it only comes in Craft Club. Oh, Terry says my creativity is amazing. Thank you. Hey, Kay Burns, which kind of info do you want? Craft Club or Creator or both? I really do love what I'm doing. I would be crafting maybe not quite as much as I do now. Anyways, because I've always been a crafter. I grew up crafting with my mom and my two grandmas, um, making Barbie clothes, crocheting, doing paint by number, doing that uh, latch hooking, all kinds of things. Um, so I, I just love to craft. I love the whole creative process and I love to craft and make things that hardly cost anything and that are slightly different. And I think these are exactly that. I mean, I don't think there's even 50 cents worth of ingredients in here. So, Kathy says she would like info on both the creator opportunity and the um, craft club. Okay, this is a great question. Does a creator have to go live? No, there's no requirements. Um, but I also love teaching. That's what I should have been. Instead, I got a French degree and then I went to law school because <laughs> I love presenting and that kind of thing. But um, I love teaching and so that is kind of what I do here with my Facebook Lives and the videos that I share on YouTube and Instagram and Pinterest and all that. Uh, but you don't have to do that. You don't have to do anything with social media. You could just get the discount for yourself. You could um, 
you could sell to a few friends, you could post pictures, anything like that. Gosh, lots of you guys are saying you would like info on both. And I guess I just don't talk enough about becoming a creator. Um, but I would love to welcome you to my team of creators. And um, so I will put info in the comments for each one of you about that. This is a happy place. Yes, it is. It's messy. Oh my gosh, it's so messy today. And coming up... Where is my big cross? It's out in the other room. Yesterday we made the most beautiful Dollar Tree cream colored rope um, and canvas duck cross wreath using one of these from Dollar Tree. So in the next day or two, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna use this and some burlap ribbon to make another beautiful kind of a cross wreath. So I'll be watching for that. I have lots of good things coming up. I love crafting for spring. Heather says it's great to be a creator. Heather is a, a pretty new creator on my team. Thank you, Heather. Oh, Nancy says you also teach us through your Christ and crafting on Sundays. That's my favorite day of the week to craft and um, to share you know, something, a word or two from God to talk about some Bible verses and, and just think about it. Um, hopefully Sundays are encouraging for you and inspiring. Oh, you guys are way too sweet to me. Oh my goodness. Anyways, I'm going to stop yakking. I will get some good pictures of these. And I'll post them here in the comments. I'll also post uh, the finished picture of this, of this set. And we'll be doing more things with the stencils that come in the March Craft Club. If you were to enroll as a craft club person uh, in my craft club, you would get the March kit, which is this one. Um, and then next month, you would get the April kit. And then the month after that, you would get the May kit. Oh, Kathy says, I've watched you so long and you love all my all the things I do. That's so sweet of you. Okie dokie, do this or this. Say something to me in the comments. Check to see if you have liked and followed this page because if you haven't, the chances are that Facebook will never show me to you ever again. I don't know, there's just something weird happening in Facebook land. But if you like and follow, turn on your notifications and engage with me, which is doing this or this or saying something, then Facebook says, ah, I think that person might like to see Heidi Scott, um, you know, what she's doing. How much does it cost to be a creator? Well, you have to start with an enrollment kit, and there are two, and they're super discounted. There's one that's 69 and one that's 99 and then there's a $10.99 per month website fee, which Magnolia creates and maintains that beautiful website where I send you guys to look at things and to shop. Um, that's also where they communicate with me. That's where I put my orders in. But other than that, there's no other expenses, just the monthly $10.99 and then one of those two enrollment kits. And then you get 35% off. And uh, if um, you have friends and family that shop with you, then you would get uh, a commission on that, which just go, for me goes right back into my crafting. You know, and, and it helps our family, for sure. It, it's just such a blessing. Oh, March was the flag kit. I'm so sorry. Uh, no, okay. January was the mason jar. February was the garden flag. I'm sorry to confuse you. And March is this. So, if you just received the flag from last month, chances are your subscription is renewing towards the end of the month. Um, if you would like to see if you can move that up earlier in the month so that you can get that month's craft club project earlier, 
you can try giving Magnolia a call and asking. Um, they are super great to work with and they'll do it if they can. Um, their number is 970-404-5383. But that is why you would have just, I'm just answering a question, you would have just received the flag. That's because that was the February project. And if your subscription to Craft Club renewed like towards the end of the month, then you would be getting the February kit towards the end of the month and by the time it gets to you, it's the beginning of March. Oh, I cannot wait to start doing uh, beach stuff. Mary Lou says she got her flag on March 3rd. So probably your renewal date each month is the 26th, 27th, or 28th. That's when they would charge your card. Then they would put it in the mail, and by the time it arrives at your house, it's March 3rd. So that is why, if you would like to get those earlier in the month, give Magnolia a call. But nothing is wrong. Everything is A-OK, -okay, and you'll get this one, but you'll get it again towards the end of the month is when you'll be your credit card will be charged and the project will be shipped. So give them a call if you would like to move it up. But there's nothing wrong. Your Craft Club membership is just fine. They haven't skipped you. You're not going to miss out on this. You just have a later cycle. Uh, okay, I feel like I blabbed and blabbed and blabbed and blabbed. But thank you for joining me. Look later for pictures. If you want a link to Craft Club, let me know, and I'll give you a direct link so you don't have to hunt it down. If you would like information about becoming a creator, just let me know, and I'll give you all that info, too. Okay, see you guys later. Have a blessed and wonderful rest of your day.